Hey, tonight, Alton police are searching for two men connected to a botched home invasion that turned deadly. Action Force Nadia Galindo tracking this story for us tonight. Well, Ryan, Alton police are still trying to piece together how this whole robbery turn gun battle played out. But what's shocking about this is that neighbors didn't call police to report hearing gunfire. So we spoke to a neighbor who lives directly next door to the crime scene to find out why. It's scary. You know, scary to know there was a murder next door. Christina Delgado says she heard the gunshots that left one man dead and another in the hospital, but she didn't pick up the phone to call police. It happens here all every other week in the gunshots, so I, we thought it was just normal. Delgado says Saturday night, one of her neighbors was throwing a party, loud music was playing, and she thought the gunshots were part of the celebration. But Sunday morning, she soon realized her neighbors were targeted by four men who broke into the house with weapons. They were like in and out all the time, but they were never seen during the day. It was only at night. Alton police say a gun battle ensued, leaving one of the home invasion suspects dead, the other injured. Police believe their accomplices dumped them at a local hospital. And again, two suspects are still at large and police are searching for the two victims of this botched home evasion. Right now, it's still unclear what the suspects were looking to steal. For now, in the Hidalgo County Newsroom, Nadia Glendo, Action 4 News. Mission Police found what investigators believe to be the getaway vehicle. It was found Sunday morning on fire off Schumach Road in 495.